We might also want to use coverage to debug assertions. So let's say we have a property like this. And again, this is probably a, a good example of what not to write. Okay, so having a left hand side like that, there's multiple kind of ways in which it can occur. So let's say we run this property and we find this property is never getting checked because the left hand side of the implication is never true. And we never observe this left hand side. So our next question is, okay, why not? You know, what, how far can we get then? So we need to manually write these covers. The tool will not do this for you. You've got to find out why the left hand side doesn't occur. We cover whether A can occur, then cover if it can have A followed by B. Then there's two paths through here, of course, C or D. So this is a sequence or in this case, that, so that means sequence uh, C or sequence D. So if we've got A, B and sequence C, do we get that? And the other path through there was A, B, D, and then those followed by E, okay? So we, we see which one of these can we actually get then? And we've had to write this ourselves manually because we gave ourselves the, own, the problem in the first place by actually writing a much too complicated left-hand side. So if we find this left-hand side is not occurring, we've got to go and debug Y.